Hello and welcome to this chapter 1 of Gear Lab Digital, where we start to set the departure point. Let's find out about data management today in large organizations where large amounts of data are produced every day. Usually the manager accepts the status quo and the leader challenges it. We are challengers. We meant to think simply and to make it great. Every navigation starts by locating the start position, then trace the route to the destination. We meant to be very pragmatic. So, we will not use futile words. We illustrate our statements by true examples taken from the real practice in some major industries. We don't need to cheat on our statements. The reality is just enough by itself. Because we are basically automotive engineers. So, our genuine examples are mostly issued from this industry. By chance, this industry is facing big challenges, as well as from other competitors, as from the society with the strongest ecological constraints ever. The automotive is also a large-scale industry employing a big number of high-skill engineers in various disciplines and dealing with huge economical stakes. In automotive, very large data need to be managed during the entire life cycle. The life cycle starts from the engineering phase, followed by serial life and finishing with the recycling. This is a lot of data for just a single car. Just imagine the colossal quantity of data to manage for several million. To succeed in this challenge, car makers use several data manager systems of all kinds. Several PLM systems manage technical data during the engineering and design phase until the manufacturing and serial life. ERP systems to manage the resources and planning of the company. And CRM systems for the client relationship during serial life. So, the automotive industry covers all kinds of constraints and scales and is a worthy example for this data management course. However, the data management topic is wide, not only in automotive or aircrafts, but everywhere. In banking. Insurances medical, marketplaces, public institutions, etc. Actually, it is hard to find a discipline insensitive to data management. Maybe in some artistic domains or handcrafts. Even there, the digital revolution is not far from breaching. That is why, homo data is replacing the current homo sapiens. We need to evolve, to learn, to master data technologies, Whatever the activity, denying data management will result to a Darwinian natural selection. Where dinosaurs are meant to disappear from the scenery. And superior species to take this place. This is, in fact, not pessimistic at all but a chance for humanity, despite so many people trying to depict it as a nightmare. The Darwinian evolution had result to the superior human species that we are. And this evolution is continuing, and we are the pivot of this change. We have nothing to worry about. Well, let's back to our statements about the current situation about data management in large establishments today. This example is taken from the automotive industry. First statement about data structure, why do it simple when you can make it confuse? Following is what is currently in use within a major car manufacturer. To define the simplest fastener, bolt plus nut, up to five different data structures are needed. The process needs in fact several steps, up to seven, involving eight different engineers, all manually done without any assistance. Due to the complexity of the process, an average of 12% of fasteners are wrongly defined by engineers. Consider this, a car contains up to 5,000 fasteners. About three weeks are required to fully complete the process for only one fastener. How could it be? By using a unique data structure per fastener to simplify the process. With a self-learning system to smartly suggest fasteners to help engineers. By never allowing wrong data creation to guarantee the data to be 100% reliable. By immediate data processing. No delay to reduce lead time and costs. Think simple. Second statement, data source, why be bright when you can be dark? 
This is the database organization for a major car manufacturer. Several database systems, each one with its own separate database. Unlinked data, hardly cooperative, never synchronized. Numerous Excel files to reconstruct major data deficiency. How could it be? A master database on top of all others to centralize, to be the unique source of data. Other implemented systems confidently fed by the master using simple scripts. Think simple. Third statement, data intelligence. Why do it accurate when you can do it creepy? This is how data quality is managed within a major car manufacturer. Implemented database systems embed no rule about the data consistency. Data creation is all manual, crafted by numerous engineers, not all precisely aware of rules. Thus, 60% of data stored in the database contain issues and the database system is not even aware of. How could it be? Fully structured data, governed by mathematical rules. Self-learning system, acquiring new rules with new projects. System having rules to check data consistency with 100% accuracy. Uncomplete data being properly highlighted with smart advice for completion. We meant to enable computers to really compute. Not to stay stall for humans entering manually data without any accuracy check. Make it great. This is real experience practiced during years in engineering, nobody even thinking to improve the process, accepting the status quo with confused data structures, multiple separate data systems, zero intelligence. We challenge the status quo by implementing an innovative data structure, by creating a unified master data manager, feeding existing others already integrated, by using a mathematical intelligence to assist users, helping trustworthy decision-making, having complete set of knowledge cards in hand. We are shaking the status quo. Gear Lab Statement Summary First, smart and lean, structured data. Second, unique data source, covering lifetime. Third, a smart query solution. We are talking about a system called Intelligent Query Solution or IQS. Having a large amount of data, great. But do you really take advantage of? Big companies store easily large amount of data into several databases systems. One may access a specific single data using its specific code number when it is known. But often, you need a specific result which is a complex combination of other data, then none of these systems can solve your problem. The only way is to export datasets into several Excel sheets, then with some handcrafted VBA macros, craft some answers out of these systems. Thus, the data you need is perhaps hidden somewhere inside one or spread into several databases, but you are just unable to retrieve it without spending weeks of labor for a manually crafted Excel result. Consider this. Data that sit and used are no different from data that were never collected in the first place. The engineering world does not take advantage of intelligence, unlike our personal private world. Our familiar world is massively using intelligence and big data, becoming now so familiar, easy to use, and great. Google Search Engine Google Map Wikipedia ChatGPT, etc. Professional world uses instead large data. They use PLM, ERP, or CRM systems, which are in fact large database management systems. Excel sheets are widely used in complement to extract some data for specific major processing, not available natively out of the box with their data management systems. Also, some other external software, besides, hardly coupled with PLM, Let's talk about big data versus large data. Big data is a big number of qualified data or samples available to train the system. This is the big data premise. As an order of magnitude, about 10,000 samples are required, 80% used for learning, 20% others used for testing and validating. 
This is the foundation of some artificial intelligence systems, like ChatGPT, to be compared with large data. Here we are talking about a sample containing more than 50,000 elementary data, called large data. But usually, these samples are not qualified, mostly containing inconsistent data. A major car manufacturer studies about 10 new projects per year. To obtain 10,000 samples, about 1,000 years of engineering labor are required. Thus, this technique is inappropriate to run the most recent artificial intelligence systems. So what? It's over? Are we done? Watch the following videos to find the solution to this enigma. That's all for this chapter about data management today, in fact, not so brilliant as one can imagine. We meant to challenge the status quo. Interested in finding more? The next chapter is about our exclusive innovation in the data management arena, called Gearboard, to brightly enable data intelligence. See you there. Goodbye.